what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to put dimension in our project okay so last video if i remember it right we learned how to insert views inside the sheets or title blocks so this time let's put some dimension okay so the first thing that i'm gonna do i'm just gonna zoom into this area here so let's say i want to put dimensions from grids one to six. So for me to do that, from the quick access toolbar, I just need to select your align dimension. So when you click that, before you place your dimension, check first the properties. Go, go to the properties and then you can check from the type selector, what are the different dimension styles that are available in your project. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to use the default one. And then after that, you can specify here what's, will, uh, what's the justification and also how we're going to pick your uh, dimension, which is by default, it's individual reference. Also, you can check out here the dimension panel, wherein you will be able to see the different types of dimensioning. Okay, so I'm using here the align dimension, but if you want, you can also do linear for horizontal and vertical, although you can also use uh, aligned for horizontal and vertical. Okay, and then if you want to put some dimension on the angle, radial, diameter, arc length, spot elevation, spot coordinate, and spot slope. So these are the different types of dimensioning that you can use in placing dimension. All right, and... Okay, so let me just put dimension. So let's say I'm going to pick from here. One, two, okay. I'm going to pick, going to pick here, here. And then I'm going to pick another point here for the location to be placed. There you go. And then I'll just select here, modify. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to put another dimension at the top of this dimension. So, let's say the overall dimension. So, I'm going to select align dimension again or you can type DI for the shortcut. And then, let's put the dimension from here. And then, as you can see, as you move your pointer, it automatically snaps. Okay? For the alignment of your uh, dimension here. Okay, the settings of your uh, dimension style, you can modify that. So let's say I'm just going to pick here to place the dimension. So if you want to modify your dimension style, so what you can do is I will select modify here. I'm going to select dimension and then I can go to the edit type. So let's say I want to edit this uh, dimension, the 3 over 32 inch aerial dimension, linear. So I can select your edit type to open up the type selector. And then after that, you can now modify here. If you want to create your own dimension style, just duplicate it. And then after that, uh, change the name. And then you can now modify the parameters here. So let's say, for example, you want to change the color. So there's a color option here. This one. So let's say you want to make that red. So just select OK here. OK. And then it will now be uh, reflected to your model. Right? Okay, you can go to the edit type again. If you want to edit your linear dimension style, you can modify here the distances. You can modify the uh, tick mark. Okay, so uh, let's say instead of diagonal, so you want to change that to arrow. Okay, field. <clears throat> this one, so let's say arrow field, 15 degrees, and then I'll select here, okay. There you go. So it's now updated with the arrow, right? So let me just go back again to the edit type. So instead of arrow field uh, 15 degrees, so I'll just select here diagonal uh, 1 eighth of an inch. And then you can modify here the other things like the witness line gap to element, witness line extension. Okay, and then if you want to put some uh, tick mark. Okay, and also you can modify the text. If you want to create a bigger text style, so again, you need to mo uh, duplicate that and then change the name. And then after that, you can now change the text size here or the text offset. Okay, from the dimension line, you can modify the text offset. 
and then you can also specify the text background if you want that to be opaque or transparent you can also change here the font style right and then other uh, parameters here okay so i'm just gonna select here uh, okay all right now the next thing that i'm gonna do is for this one we have created it manually so let's say we want to place automatically on our wall here okay so let's try to do this so let me just adjust this two dimensions here i'm gonna drag it above something like that okay so let me select again the dimension okay so this time so i'm gonna change uh wall well, how about here so instead of uh individual reference so i'm gonna select here entire walls and then this one i want to select wall faces okay and then let's try to do this so let's click you see that one so automatically it plays the dimension on the face of the wall right when when i click this wall here right so i place it here so let's say you want to put uh dimension to this area here so you can pick this and then you can automatically create your dimension something like that okay and then you can pick another one here and you can pick another point here then click outside no oh, how about i'll just pick here there you go and then you can also snap on the opening so i'm gonna change this option here so i'll select your opening uh widths or you can also snap at the center but what i'm just gonna do is uh widths and then I'll select your OK and then let's try doing this. So I'll click this. There you go. So automatically it snaps to the faces of the wall and it snaps on the opening of the wall here. So I'm just going to pick here to place it and then I'll select your modify. Now, if you see that your dimensions are too close to each other to the point that they are overlapping so what you can do is you can click outside and then click this dimension and then you see that dot you can just move it somewhere somewhere here so that they are not overlapping to each other just to tidy up your drawing oops how about i'll just put some somewhere there okay pick like that okay and then um you can also uh, put some text you can also put some text so let's say for example you want to put an mm here or uh inches or any word that you want to be uh put right after the dimension so what you can do is you can click this dimension and then you click again it will open the dimension text so as you can see you can replace it by the text you can select replace with text and then you can type here the text that you would like so let's say i'm gonna put there overall uh, dimension right and then just select your okay see Okay, so let's say let's try to modify this one. So you can click this and then you can click again and then you can uh, modify the text fields. The, you can put some prefix or suffix or you can put below the text or above the text. So let's say I'm going to put a suffix here. So let's put, let's say, uh, typical. And then I will select here OK. So as you can see, there's now your dimension text okay so you can explore your dimensioning so let's try again so let's put some text so let's click that okay you know already how to do it manually right you just need to click like that okay all right there you go dimension okay 
can just click outside and then you can also use the option entire walls again so let's say I'm gonna escape and then I can uh, dimension again click okay entire walls so again I want the opening of oh, the width so I'm gonna do it here there you go so I'm gonna pick and there you have it and then click for the location of your dimension again make sure you tidy up your dimension you can click that and then just drag somewhere here there you go okay so for your exercise of course you can just put the dimension for your project okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day